Good day everyone. My name is Alteya May M. Alboroto and today I will be your reporter. So uh, today I want to talk about lesson 2, combinations. So for combinations, what is the difference between permutations and combination? For permutation, it refers to the possible arrangements of a set of objects. For combination, it is the number of ways of selecting from a set. So for the permutation, order is always important. Meanwhile, on combination, order is not important. So this is the technical definition of combination. So combination refers to the number of ways of selecting from a set. And order is not important. So combination of n objects taken r at a time where n is equal to or greater than r, it is then denoted by these formulas you see in the screen right now. So for the first example, how many ways can a committee consisting of four members be formed from eight people? So first, we need to find the given. So for the given, n is equal to 8 and r is equal to 4. First step is to write down the formula. So for the formula, we are going to use this one. So the com combination of n taken r at a time is equal to n factorial over r factorial and the quantity of n minus r factorial. The next step is to change the letters to the numbers. So, uh, combination and then n is 8 and r is 4. So, n factorial is then turned to 8 factorial over 4 factorial and then 8 minus 4 factorial. The next step is to subtract 8 to 4. So 8 factorial over 4 factorial. So 8 minus 4 is equal to 4. So we're going to put 4 here as well. The next thing to do is to um, multiply. So the next thing to do is to multiply 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So you have to multiply all of these numbers. And then same thing for the numbers below. So 4, 3, 2, 1. So the first thing we need to do is to do uh, to do the cancellation method. So we need to remove these numbers. Next thing is to divide 8 to 4. So 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So since we already have a 2 down here, we can erase the number 2 up there. And then la lastly, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2. So the, remain, the remaining numbers are 7, 5, and 2. So you times all of that. So, it, so 7 times 5 times 2 is equal to 70. But wait, since there's a number 1 right here, we need to put it right here. So 70 over 1 is still 70. Therefore, there are 70 ways for this combination. Now, you, is there an easier method to calculate this? The answer is yes, by using another formula. So, we need to re remove this first. So, this formula is basically the same but also different at the same time. So, we need to write C and R is equal to... So this is where it gets a little different. So we need to put P above here, meaning permutation, and then N, and then R. So, 
we have to it is then divided by our factorial so for here it basically means uh, the combination of n taken r at a time where n is equal to or greater than r is equal to the permutation of n taken r at a time is over r factorial wait let's put the factorial here too actually no it doesn't help them so we need to put the numbers so first this eight seven six five if to multiply these so you must be wondering why only five we only need to stop at five is because we only have four factors so it's right here four so and then below that is the four three two one this one and as always we can use the cancellation method from earlier so eight and four it's the same thing remove this and then this same thing as always the remaining numbers are seven five two oh wait it's over one so Need this first, so we need to multiply this first. It's equal to seventy. So seventy over one is equal to seventy. So you see, it's basically the same, but with a little twist in the end. So for the next example, in a local selection, voters are to select six councillors from the set of candidates. If there are twelve candidates for a councillor. How many possible ways can a voter select six counselors? So the given is n is equal to 12 and r is equal to 6. So for this example, I am going to use the other formula. And this formula is um, n c r is equal to n factorial over quantity of n minus r factorial times r factorial. So, it's basically the same, but the N is the first one here, and then the C is here, and but the R is still the last um, letter. And another thing is the R um, changed from left to right. So, the same um, process is you need to change the letters to the numbers. So, N is equal is now turned to 12 then r is now 6 so the same thing 12 and then 12 minus 6 so for this one as well is also 6 okay so for the next step is to subtract 12 from 6 so the factorial over okay so 12 minus 6 is still 6 so put that there for the next step is to do the cancellation method so for the cancellation method we need to multiply these for you need to put, um ultimate to multiply the numbers here first so 12 times 11 times 10 times 9 times 8 7 and 6 now, again, the reason why we stopped at 6 is because we only have 6 for R. So, that's why we only have to put 6. So, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 6 right here. So, for the next step is to do the cancellation method. So, 6, and then there's 6 here. So, 12 divided by 6 is equal to 2. So since there's already a 2 up there, we can remove the 2 down here. Next is 10 divided by 5 is equal to 2. 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. And 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So the remaining numbers are 11, 2, 3, and 7 so if you multiply all these numbers it is equal to 924 so there's a one below 
but 924 over 1 is still equal to 924. So therefore, there are 924 ways. So that is all for today's video and I hope you enjoyed. This is Alteyemay Alboroto signing off.